Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, I'm Karen, you're at The Loft, and that makes you wicked smart. I am super excited to bring you today's video. It is the 5 for 5 challenge hosted by Emily at Farm Charm Chic and Lisa from Our Gray House. And I have been watching this challenge for years and I've never been able to participate because I've never had a channel so I am super excited to be part of this month's theme which is garden and porch decor now I don't have a front porch I have more of like a front stoop it's just like a little landing a covered landing at my front door but you will find tons of inspiration in the playlist and I will make sure that I have that link down below so you can watch all the creators and get plenty of inspiration for your home. So let's not waste any more time and get right into DIY number one. I got these kids beach toys from the Dollar Tree back when everything was still a dollar. I'm going to take it outside and give it a primer coat of this white paint. And like I said, it's just kind of a primer coat because we're going to give it some faux finishes here. So I'm going to paint the, I don't know, is it a spade? I'm not sure what they call this part of the shovel. And I'm only going to show you the shovel. I'm not going to do both of them on camera. I'm going to give it a good coat of black chalk paint on this part of the shovel and on the handle. You have to... Get a little brush and get into all the nooks and crannies of the handle. We're going to make this look like it's um, a metal shovel that's been out used in the garden and it's all crusty and rusty. So the first coat is black. I'm really not going to see a whole lot of it in the end, but it's a good base coat and helps with the adding the dimension to the paint as you layer all the different paints on. You're going to need the black. You're going to need a gray. You're going to need a metallic silver and a tiny bit of white. Now, if faux finishes in intimidate you or it's not your look and you don't want to do that, you can leave your shovel just like this. Black and white, very farmhouse. It would look great from here on out for the rest of this project. But this is something that I love to do and I love to teach. And I'm just gonna do my thing while you enjoy the music. Space. Just think about it, think about it Maybe set 
Isn't that awesome, you guys? I love doing this finish. And when it dries, it really does feel crusty and rusty. So now I want the handle to look like it's wood. But I want it to look like it's it's been painted wood but the paint is chipping off and it's been used and it's you know all distressed and the paint is wearing away so first I'm gonna make it look like it's wood and you again you could stop right here a stained wooden handle but I want to make it look like it's been painted white and the white paint is coming off so I'm gonna give it a distress coat and I'm just going to run, I have a flat brush, a square edge flat brush, and I'm just going to kind of run it along top of this handle of this shovel. And when I get that all coated up, then I'm just going to go back and kind of run my brush over it that with a tiny bit of the antique wax, just to dirty it up a little because the white is a little bit too bright and it looked too brand new like it hadn't been used so there it is this is the finished and I love it it's hard to believe right that we started out with a red and blue kids beach toy all right so now I'm going to join these two together and I'm just going to put some hot glue in the middle here and I know that that's not going to hold it I just want it to hold it in place for me while I wrap it up with some twine. And I'm going to do that in kind of like a figure eight kind of a pattern so that I get in between both of these shovels and it does, they don't, um, they don't slip around on me. Once I get the twine all wrapped up and I cut that off, I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, rub a little Mod Podge all around it just so it helps it adhere a little bit better and it doesn't go anywhere on me because we're going to put a little we're going to put a little wreath on this in the front and this is going to be for my front door this is a cute little alternative to a wreath in the springtime so here you see me going in with some mod podge just to kind of stiffen up that twine now this is electric conduit my husband sometimes does electrical work and he gets a big roll of this for I don't know I think it's around 40 feet and he gets it for about $28 so that would make that about 70 cents a foot but I'm gonna round that up to 75 just to make it easier to keep track now you want to wear gloves with this stuff and if you get a pair of pliers and you pull on it, look at what you get, you guys. And you double the length, okay? So I, cu I cut two feet, right, for 75 cents a foot. I cut two feet, and that's going to give me four feet in the end. And I'm going to wrap it around on itself and twist it around into this little circle shape. And this is going to be my wreath, a little metal wreath. And then I have a chalkboard sign that I got for a dollar from the Dollar Tree when it was still, everything was still a dollar. That's the good thing about this challenge. I am diving deep into my stash. And can you hear the rain, you guys? I don't know if you can hear the rain outside, but we're in the middle of bracing for a nor'easter as I'm making all these cute spring DIYs for my front porch. So, anyways, there it is. There's my little wreath. Okay, so I got that all put aside. Now, if you don't have conduit on hand like I do, the Dollar Tree has got you. You can use one of their beaded wreaths, or you can take the set of three metal wreaths that they have and use the middle size. That would be a good option if you wanted to use metal. So I'm going to take my little wreath and I'm going to lay it on top of my shovel and my rake and I'm just going to give it a little bit of hot glue just to hold it in place and then I'm going to take some white covered 
floral wire and I'm gonna run it through the little grooves of this wreath and I'm gonna tie it on with some little strips of, of the wire because I know that if I put it outside hot glue is not going to be enough and I'm going to do some hand typography on that little chalkboard sign add some of my greenery that I have in my scrap stash and get this thing all put together
you guys, so let's break down this DIY. The shovel was a dollar, the rake was a dollar, the chalkboard sign was a dollar, the conduit was 75 cents a foot, we figured out, and I used two feet, that's a dollar fifty for a total of four fifty for this DIY. DIY number two, super easy, here we go. I got this banner at the Target Dollar Spot after Christmas. So I got it for a half price for two fifty. It was five dollars. I got it for two fifty and I absolutely love this color green. And I'm gonna try and get out some of the wrinkles here because we're gonna use some iron on vinyl and now I'll have a side for the spring and a side for Christmas. So here in New England, it's especially right now, it's not so much, hey, spring, hello, spring. It's come on, spring. We know you can do it, right? So I made all this, uh, I cut out all of this uh, wording with my iron-on vinyl, and I got it on Timu, and I got a 10-foot roll for $15, so that makes it, about 66 cents a foot. So I'm going to round that up to 75 cents a foot because it's just easier for me to add up. If you haven't figured out, numbers are not my friends. <laughs> so I'm going to make this as easy as possible. So I needed a foot and a half. I used up about a foot and a half of this 15 foot roll. So if we're going to say that one foot was 75 cents, then a half of that would be about 37 cents, but I'm going to round that up to 50 just to make it easier on me to make it $1.25. So I'm going to say I spent $1.25 on vinyl and I spent two fifty dollars on the banner. And that was it for this DIY, you guys. So inexpensive. Even if you bought it for $5 and you got it for full price and you spent... Another dollar twenty-five on vinyl for six twenty-five. You have a two-sided banner, right? So cute. Now you get two seasons out of this. I absolutely love it. Love how it came out, and I think it's kind of cheeky. <laughs> Come on, spring, <laughs> you can do it. I'm gonna wake up to snow tomorrow. I just know I am. I just have a feeling, and I have to go to school, so. <laughs> Come on, spring. You can do it. All right. So here I have happy holidays on one side and come on, spring <laughs> on the other side, right? For a grand total of $3.75 for this DIY. Okay. Here comes DIY number three. I bought a package of these burlap pendants on Amazon. I got 40 in a package for $10. So that makes them 25 cents each. I'm using five of them for $1.25 total for that. And I'm just taking my Posca paint pen and I'm going to just freehand some uh, dragonflies on each one of them. I'm going to kind of sketch it out here and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to widen some of the strokes make some a little bit wider leave some a little bit narrow i have to do a couple of coats because it soaks right into this burlap and then i realized it was missing something and i wanted to add a pop of black so i dug through my stash and i had some um leftover ribbon from christmas time the narrow black and white buffalo check ribbon and I believe I got it 50% off. It was $4. I got it for $2 for a 12-foot roll. I needed half of that, 6 feet, so I used half of that. So about a dollar in ribbon. And I'm just going to let you watch how I made these little tassels. I only needed three of them to finish off this garland. Space. Just think about it, think about it Maybe separate 
All right, you guys, so let's add this one up. So it was $1.25 for the burlap, and we'll say a dollar for the ribbon, and 50 cents for a couple of pieces of yarn, a couple of wooden beads for a total of $2.75 for this project. Super quick and easy. So here we go with DIY number four. So I've had this birdhouse in my stash. It was part of a tissue paper challenge from last spring. And I'm just going to change up the top a little bit and make it more outdoorsy uh, for this look that I'm going for for my stoop. And I'm going to paint it green first because I'm going to cover this roof with some moss. And I don't want the bluish color to show through. So in case anything shows through, it'll be green underneath. I'm going to do the same for the bird, and then I'm going to take that dragonfly ornament that I have on my tree, usually at Christmas time, and it's it's lost some of its beads and it's some of its glitter, so I'm actually going to make that look like galvanized metal. So I'm just going to get my paint on, get my groove on with my brushes, and let you watch me do my thing. I get that roof all covered up with moss and now I'm going to put one of these little candlestick um, wooden candlesticks on the bottom of it that I get from Hobby Lobby. They're five dollars for five but I get them when they're 40 percent off so that will make this 60 cents each but I'm going to round that up to 75 cents just to make it easier.
Can I get that all painted up? And I love how that came out. It looks so much better. Now, if you saw my last video, you saw how I took this little Dollar Tree bucket and turned it into a cute little planter and gave it a spring and summer look for some transitional decor. And even though these flowers are reasonable, they're from Hobby Lobby and I got them 50% off, they don't fit into our five under five challenge so i'm going to remove them i might save a couple of little pieces of greenery and some of that little baby's breath and then i'm going to add the birdhouse and the bird and the dragonfly and i'll show you how i got this new look for this little topiary and how it all came together Okay, let's break this down. The vine was free. The little bucket was 75 cents. It was one of two. Four of them, 25 cents. The birdhouse and the bird and the moss were a dollar each. 75 cents for the candlestick, which brings this project to a total of $4.75. Okay, here we go with DIY number five. And I told you to stay tuned because we're going to be working with that electrical conduit again. And I picked up this spindle in a bucket at a yard sale. I collect them whenever I see them. This one was a dollar. They were all a dollar each. I'm going to pre-drill a hole in the back of it. I'm going to leave it just as is. I like the chippiness of it. I love the color of it. I'm not going to change it. And then I'm going to take the conduit, I took three feet of it, and I stretched it out to six feet, and I kind of worked with it until I got it into a figure eight kind of a form. And every time I intersected, I got my a big screw, and I kind of poked it through and used my drill to kind of force it through the this stuff. It's kind of soft. It's pretty easy to work with. And I left that last piece, and I'm going to put that one right over the pre-drilled hole. And I'm going to get my drill, and I'm going to just tighten that back up again. And then I'll play with these wings a little bit to get them into the shape that I like. And these are so fun. If you have, like, a fence in your backyard, these are so fun to hang there. When the wind catches them their wings flutter when the light catches it it reflects off of the twisty metal so I used three feet of the condu of the conduit it's 75 cents a foot so it's two dollars and 25 cents and my spindle was a dollar so that brings this DIY to a grand total of three dollars and 25 cents I got a piece of twine and I made a little loop on the back to give it something to hang from. And that makes all of my five DIYs complete. And for under $25, I got some super cute spring decor from my front stoop. So when I got all of these done and I took them outside to put them out and to film them and take video, take some pictures. I was losing daylight. And like I said, we were bracing for a nor'easter. I was out there in the pouring rain trying to get the best shots that I could. And it didn't work out. So <laughs> I went out there again this morning. Yep, in the snow. We had a two hour delay at school today. So I refilmed it in the daylight, but it was snowing, and you'll see that in the final reveal. Leave me, baby, don't want to fall again. This 
just hurt me Just think about it, think about it But you hold me Like you don't wanna break I need some space Just think about it, think about it Maybe separate is better, better I will love it till forever, forever Okay, friends, let me know what you think, how I did on this challenge. It was really great to go through my stash and dig some things out. Hopefully, I can make this a regular thing every month because it was really fun. So make sure you check out that playlist. And as always, talk it up in the comments for me. I want to know if you have a favorite. And I want to give special thanks to Emily and Lisa for co-hosting this challenge. And as always, you guys, thanks for watching. You know I appreciate your time. And I love it when you come back for more. So until the next one, you guys, give all those buttons a love tap for me. And let's think spring, right? Everybody think spring. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again.